What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys an early look at the upcoming Bodega collaboration with ASICS on the Gel MC Plus in this flint grey and yellow pear colorway. Today's video is sponsored by the good people from Hefalux. Hefalux is my all-time favorite sneaker insoles and they sell ETPU insoles which essentially is the same material you'll find in Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website which I've linked down below in the description box. You'll see they sell a variety of different insoles, so depending on the type of insole density and the cushioning setup you're looking for, whether that's for a pair of thick winter boots or for sneakers, you're going to find there's a suitable insole for everyone. So I've been a paying customer of Hefalux for years now, and I personally find them to be very comfortable. So if you guys want to check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout and get 15% off your entire purchase. So this is the latest collaboration between Bodega and ASICS, and this is on the Gel MC Plus silhouette. This collab is set to release on April 29th on Bodega's website for a retail price of 150 US dollars, which is the equivalent to roughly 195 Canadian dollars. The official colorway for this shoe is flint gray and yellow pear, and the overall theme behind the color blocking of this shoe is inspired by the changing of the seasons and the different hues and colors that you see as we enter spring. So the Gel MC Plus was a silhouette that was released back in 1995, and it was designed by the same designer as the ASICS Gel Light 3, Shigeyuki Mitsui. And while it's not as popular as a silhouette as for example a Gel Light 3 or a Gel Light 5, it definitely has its own cult following, and it still has that undeniable comfort that a lot of ASICs are known to have. So first off, here's a quick look at the box. So this comes in a natural colored cardboard box, we have ASICs branding on the very top, along with the signature ASIC stripes on the side. And then the edge of the lid is done in this pastel pink sort of tone. And on this end, we have the Bodega logo. And inside the box, they give you this padded keychain as well, which has both ASICs and Bodega co-branding. As for the shoe itself, so diving straight into the details, covering the toe box, we have this knit-like material, which has a very stretchy and flexible feel to it in hand. Surrounding the front toe cap, we have this smooth synthetic feeling suede, but overlaid on top of this on both the lateral edge and the medial side of the toe box, we have this very shaggy grey coloured suede. This same suede covers the lateral side eyelets of the shoe, and overlaid on top of this, we have the signature ASIC stripes, which is done in this plastic-like shiny finish in this pastel yellow colour with an outline of purple on the edges. Underneath this, we have this perforated light grey suede, and then next to this, we have this dark grey suede with this contrast stitching in blue, and then moving further down on the shoe, we have more of that synthetic feeling suede that we found earlier on the toe box, and we have more of that contrast blue stitching found here as well. Surrounding the bottom of the heel, we have this long haired blue colored suede with ASICS branding embroidered in the middle in this light blue color. And then above this, we have this accent in this pastel yellow tone. And then the top of the heel is very well padded and covered in a turquoise green colored nylon. Flipping the shoe over to the medial side, so for the eyelets here, you'll see the return of that turquoise green colored shade but this is constructed out of a very soft cut of leather. Overlaid on top of this, we have the ASIC stripes, but in this case, it's constructed out of this synthetic feeling suede in this blue color. And then one of the most interesting design aspects of the Gel MC Plus is this motion control strap, which is a nylon midfoot strap, which helps give you added support for people that pronate. And here you'll see it's done in this purple colored finish, and we have Bodega branding found on the strap itself. Moving downwards, we have another hit of this green or turquoise colored leather with this contrast orange colored stitching. And then underneath this, we have more of that perforated light gray suede, along with more of that dark gray suede. And then next to this, we have more of that synthetic feeling gray suede that we saw earlier on the toe cap. For the laces, so these actually come with three different lace options. The standard default lace is a flat white colored lace, and this comes with the Bodega branding on the lace tips, but if you're not feeling the plain white laces, they also give you a secondary pair of cream or off-white colored laces, along with a third orange colored lace if you want to add some additional pop of color. Underneath this, the tongue is padded and covered in this blue colored nylon material. The laces intertwine through these two orange colored nylon strips, and on the top we have this oval cut of suede, with the ASICS logo embroidered on in green. So the inner liner of the shoe is lined in a very bold blue color textile. And then taking a look at the insoles, these come with ortholite insoles. It's covered with this orange colored fabric on top. We have ASICS and Bodega co-branding on the left foot. And we have Bodega 15th anniversary branding on the right foot. So the upper of the Gel MC Plus sits atop this midsole, which is taken from the Gel Cumulus 17 running shoe. So this midsole is actually constructed out of fluid ride foam which is a dual density foam setup with SPEVA technology on the upper, which is meant for responsiveness and bounce back, along with sole light technology on the bottom, and this is meant for shock absorption. 
And on top of this, underneath the forefoot and on the heel, they also incorporate gel cushioning as well. And this is visible on the lateral side with these semi-translucent blue colored hits. And then turning the shoe over to the bottom. So the outsole here is constructed out of this pastel yellow colored rubber. You can see we have these grooves throughout the outsole, which helps with flexibility. And in the midfoot, we have this blue colored TPU overlay, and this helps with torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that pretty much breaks down all you need to know about the design and the construction of these Gel MC Pluses. And for those wondering about sizing, overall, these definitely fit true to size, so that's what I would recommend. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. Bodega sent me this pair in a size 10, and they fit me perfectly spot on. Just to give you guys a point of comparison, for recent Gel Light 3s, I also stick true to size with a size 10, but for the Gel Light 5, I usually opt to go up a half size to a 10 and a half. So for this pair, again, I got these in a size 10, so definitely stick true to size. Next up, in terms of the comfort, so like a lot of other Asics shoes, this pair is very, very comfortable. This is the first time I've actually tried this silhouette before, but I was absolutely blown away. To me, it gives you that perfect balance of softness and responsiveness, and the cushioning isn't super thick, so it doesn't feel unstable, but at the same time, you can really feel the plushness of the foam underfoot. So if you can imagine a shoe that gives you a nice pillowy feel, but still being low to the ground enough that you feel stability, then this is what this shoe feels like. And it also doesn't hurt that it feels very lightweight and very airy on feet as well. So I think a lot of you guys will really enjoy how these feel on foot. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and the craftsmanship. So first off, material quality, I thought it was okay. This shoe has a good mix of synthetic materials and what feels like more genuine materials. So it kind of averages out in that way. But let's just say I've definitely seen better quality materials on other ASIC shoes before. And similarly, from an overall craftsmanship and build standpoint, aside from some minor glue stains that were found throughout the shoe, I didn't really notice anything else too major. So I'd say it was pretty decent all in all. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet and I'll show you guys how these look. Bodega is definitely known to not be shy with their collaborations, and I think this is another perfect example of that. I love how they weren't afraid to add splashes of color, but at the same time it's not over the top with the shoe being predominantly grey, so I think it strikes that good balance of being wearable while at the same time having those playful hits of color. Is this a shoe that's going to be for everyone? Probably not, because let's be honest, the Gel MC Plus isn't going to be people's favorite silhouette from ASICS. But from the reception I've been seeing from people on Instagram, it seems like these are going to be pretty popular, so I wouldn't be surprised if these sold out pretty fast on release day. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Bodega and ASICS Gel MC Plus and this flint grey and yellow pear colorway. What are your overall thoughts on this collaboration? And when these drop on April 29th, are you guys going to try and grab these? And if you take an L, are you going to be paying resale for these or you're just going to let them go? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at sgo8, check out my Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seango.ca. Before I end this video, another huge, huge shout out goes out to Bodega. Thank you so much for sending me over this early pair. It's much, much appreciated. And thank you also for everyone for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.